the most challenging aspect of the entire thing wasn't, let me get over here, it wasn't any of this. It was actually the bicep pump that I got coming off the rower straight into the heavy kettlebell. My biceps on the first round started like seizing up. I got such a pump and so much blood that it actually made it hard to hold on to the, the 28 kilogram kettlebell. So keep that in mind when you do this. What's up gang? Today's workout, I'm excited. Shoulders are still smashed from yesterday, but today's gonna be a good one. So, another 30, 21, 15, nine. We're gonna do calories in the rower. We're gonna do kettlebell swings. I'm gonna use a 28 kilogram kettlebell. Uh, make sure your weight's appropriate for you so that you get a great workout, but don't go too heavy where you get injured or something of that nature. Air squats, gonna go below parallel really deep. A burpee with a tire step up. I'm actually gonna add burpees with a tire step up with a weighted step up. I'm gonna pick up 30 pound dumbbells every time I step up onto the tire. You don't have to do that. You can even actually take the tire out of it if you don't have a tire and just do burpees. And then I'm gonna do 100 jump ropes. I'm gonna crush through that as fast as humanly possible. So the challenge you think is really gonna be these back-to-back -back cardiovascular moves. So row's gonna get you cardiovascularly. You're gonna have to challenge on the grip on the kettlebell swing, depending on how heavy you go. Right into your air squats. So you got kind of a cardio, 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 cardio back to back. It's gonna be a very metabolic workout today. It's gonna be awesome. Go all in, don't save anything. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? All right, let's go. All right guys, remember on your rower, smooth is fast. I see a lot of people get really herky-jerky, whatever herky-jerky is. What does that even mean? Is on the rower, where they're just coming back and there's the chain slamming around. Watch how smooth I am, all right? And smooth is actually faster. You'll actually get more strokes per minute with smooth movements than you will being jerky. You have to let the flywheel catch up, get maximum utilization out of that flywheel. You'll see what I'm talking about. That was another awesome workout. Um, I underestimated one thing. The most challenging aspect of the entire thing wasn't, let me get over here. It wasn't any of this. It was actually the bicep pump that I got coming off the rower straight into the heavy kettlebell. My biceps on the first round started like seizing up. I got such a pump and so much blood that it actually made it hard to hold on to the, the 28 kilogram kettlebell. So keep that in mind when you do this. Your grip is gonna be challenged, your forearms, your bicep pump, but you just gotta push through that. So I usually like to go unbroken on my first, uh, on my first round of 30. I had to chop it into three sets of 10, which has to be done from time to time, depending on the weight that you're using. So if you need to chop those into 10 to 10 to 10, do it. It's no shame in that. You just gotta get the work done. The step up burpees with the dumbbells, I use 30 pound dumbbells, proved to be actually easier than I thought they were gonna be. It was actually a, a time where I could kind of gather myself after the heavy kettlebells, the air squats, before I moved into the jump rope, which is just straight cardiovascular, just to go right back into the row. So you should be able to knock this out, guys, in under 20 minutes, but you're gonna have to jam. You're gonna have to leave it all on the table. And let me leave you with this before we go. There's a time in every workout. I don't care who you are. If you're pushing as hard as you can, and if you're really maxing out, and you're really giving it everything you've got, you're leaving it all in the gym, there's a time in every workout, especially when you're training alone. There's nobody in here right now, it's just me. Where you have to make that decision and you have to realize what's important. And what's important is what you do in the dark, meaning what you do when no one is watching. And so everybody comes to that point of like, I could shave reps, I could skip a set, I could rest longer than I really need to. But you've gotta be able to self-push and self-motivate. That's the book I'm talking about right there. Oh, over here. 
I, I always get confused. The overweight mind, guys. There's a chapter in the overweight mind called what you do in the dark. And that's what really matters because what you do when no one is watching is what's going to separate you from everybody else because everybody can show up when there's a crowd, when everybody's cheering, when there's people around, everybody shows up and shows up big. When you're by yourself, what do you do? So today, even in that workout, it would have been really simple to shave a few reps, skip the step up burpees, you know, not do all my full maximum movement, mobility, range of motion, keep the standard high, but you can't do that. And that's the differentiator. That's what separates the champs from the chumps. And you're a champ. You, if, you weren't, if you're watching this channel, you're a champ. I promise you that. So we don't break promises to ourselves. We don't cheat the reps. We don't cheat the, sta we don't cheat the standard. And regardless if nobody's there, if we're by ourselves, we go max out. We keep those promises and we do the work. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. We'll see you soon. Make sure.